Okay. This is going to take a little bit of finagle in here because of the way I have to play this. Hang on one second. We will have game in just a moment. Okay, click on that. Okay, why is it not showing up? Come on, game. Show up. There we go. Yes, there we go. That's what I want. Ah, oh, dang it. I have to get it, like, not squashed real quick. Hang on. Okay, okay, okay. Thankfully, this one we get to play in full screen without any stretching or anything like that. There we go. Game. I just want to know I haven't felt like this in a long time. <laughs> and I need to turn up the game a bit. This is the original PS1 version of the game, by the way, meaning we're going to get the original PS1 voice acting, which is absolute gold. So, uh, prepare yourselves for that. Hang on, real quick. Do you believe? That there might be... There we go. Let's see how that works out. Okay, yeah, that's, that's how it's supposed to be. Nice. All right. Oh boy, I know. Yeah, so I have some files on here, but we're just gonna make a new game and call it the same old, same old. Uh, we're, there it is. Journey back to 1792 and the Transylvanian countryside of Romania. This might be a little loud. Let me turn this down a bit. Listen, it's crusty, but the music for this opening scene is fantastic. I love it. All right, here we go. You can mess with this. Okay, we got it turned up just a bit. Here we go. Ah, hang on. But yeah, Richter can, he's got a bigger move set than he did normally, uh, in Rondo of Blood. <laughs> also, here we go. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. 
It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? <laughs> I love it. Every time. Absolutely fantastic. Ah, well, we're not going to get perfect stats, but that's fine. I'm trying to save my hydro storms for the second form. Ah, whatever. Let's just Hydra Storm him. Who cares? Ow. Yeah, Alucard's not getting very good stats, but that's fine. There he goes. Dracula was defeated on that day. <laughs> it was Richter Belmont, the legendary vampire hunter, who succeeded in finally ending the menace of Count Dracula, Lord of the Vampires, who had been brought back from the grave by the Dark Priest Shaft. However, one night, four years later, under the glare of a full moon, Richter mysteriously vanished. With no idea of where to begin her search, Maria Renard set out to look for him. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the Castle of Dracula, which is rumored to appear once every century, suddenly materialized from out of the mist as if to show it away. Meanwhile, powerful forces were struggling for the soul of a man named Alucard, the very same Alucard who had teamed up with Trevor Belmont to battle his immortal father, Count Vlad Tepes Dracula. Alucard, in order to purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, has submerged his vampiric powers and entered into what was supposed to be an eternal slumber. But now he is awake and aware of the evil once again at work in his homeland. The time has once again come for the forces of good and evil to engage in their ancient battle. Dracula's castle beckons for you. The stats are based on how well you do in the prologue? Yes, they are. Well, your starting stats are, yes. I believe you get 10 across the board if you don't take a hit. What a great title screen. So good. I love this, I love this game. <laughs> I love that. I love that intro. Corny as it is with the voice acting and stuff. Man, I love that intro. I've given up on my rally game. Oh man, this opening song here, it's so good. I'm having to like get used to not playing Castlevania 4 at the moment. Give me a minute. <laughs> I'm taking some adjustment here. Alucard, what is 
your business here? I've come to put an end to this. Still befriending mortals. I'll not ask you to return to our side, but I demand you cease your attack. I will not. You shall regret those words. We will meet again. <laughs> the opening theme, it's literally just called Dracula's Castle, CB. There yet. Uh, real quick. No, wait, hang on. There we go. The opening theme is awesome, yeah, it is. Punch. Need to keep punching. <clears throat> also, sorry if I don't talk much with this game because a lot of the time when I'm playing this, it's I'm just listening to the music because it's so good. <laughs> music is so good. Yeah, see, they still take three hits with this, and punching's a bit faster, so. Okay, never mind. They take four hits for a punch. <laughs> a lot of this stream might turn into just me, like, whistling or humming with the music, because it's so good. A literal symphony. on a CD store if listen to that quality. I know. There's another one in here. I know that there's like a secret in a secret somewhere. I don't, maybe I'm wrong. Ah, dang it. Even with how many times I've. Okay. <laughs> Even with how many times I've played this game, there are still occasionally some uh, spots here and there where I forget things are. Also, the game's not too loud, is it? I'm not too quiet, game's not too loud, all that stuff, it's still good. Nope, okay. I'm trying to, like, adjust to not having all the power-ups and stuff, too. Because I want to play as if I have all the power-ups and I don't. So the only thing this game lacks is a New Game Plus mode. I really wish it had a New Game Plus mode where you get to carry over all your power-ups and stuff. It probably become too easy though, to be honest, even with more damage. No perfect volume for slapping music. True end or just end? We're gonna get the true end, don't worry. This is gonna be mostly 100% run. 100% as far as I know uh, to get it, and we are gonna get the true ending. Oh. 
Look at how smooth the animation is in this game, though. PS1 pixel graphics are so underrated. Well, you play Castlevania 64, whatever the name is. Also, I agree. Um, yeah, I'm going to be playing Castlevania. I'm going to try and play Castlevania 64 uh, at some point for Castlevania month. Even something as small a detail as the after images on Alucard... Because he's moving fast, because, oh, I don't know, he's half a vampire. So, of course, he'd be moving fast. It gives you the sense that, like, this castle's... It, it, it gives the castle scale without, like, having to make it, like, super huge or anything in spots. Because it tells you that Alucard's moving really fast, so it's, like, kind of implying he's covering a lot of ground. Such a simple touch, and I love it. Got him. did it. Slogger and Gaibon got nothing on me. Ugh. Doesn't Belmont get those two in the Netflix series? Yes, he does. Ow. <laughs> Look at how much detail goes into just one enemy dying. It's insane. I love how everything explodes. Really lends a, like, sense of power. Okay, this just loops around, I think, to... Yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't think that there's a secret room in here anywhere. I'm gonna check, though. Now there's this over here. I swear they don't make games like they used to. No, they don't. Now for something completely different. Oh, also, Holy Water's back to being really good in this game. Yes! I got a rare drop! Nice. Well, rare-ish. Rare enough, but that's, uh, that's good. Right, I got that. BG3 is coming, I'm hoping for the best. Yeah, what is that? I don't know what that is.
Baldur's Gate 3. Oh yeah, that is coming out. The only thing about this game that's a shame is that the music cuts off whenever you have to go in a save room. And if you play like me, you're going to be reaching save rooms pretty fast. Usually. Ba -ba -da -bum. Um, we don't really need to go here yet. Just keep it in mind for now. It is there. No, I want this. Lots of games from this era and the next generation would look amazing due to not chasing the most realistic look. Yeah. They weren't trying to look insanely realistic or anything. They were just trying to look stylish. Wait a moment. You seem human, and yet... What do you hear? I don't know. What do I hear? I've come to destroy this castle. Then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. I'm Maria. Who are you? By the way, she's like 15. <laughs> Alucard. Not the talkative type, I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again. If you live that long. Farewell. Hey, that opened up. Too bad I can't get up there yet. Oh, dang it. I'm not strong enough to just punch the flea men. There we go. <laughs> Destroy woman before the FBI busts down the door to Drag's castle. <laughs> I don't mind, I dropped my holy water. We're gonna get a better, or we're gonna get an item uh, up ahead that is going to be useful for the next boss. Because guys, you wanna see me beat a boss in like three seconds? Because we're gonna do it. At least I'm gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. You're gonna watch me do it. And we have the item. So. Just a couple more things to pick up before I go do it. Look, the, the monster even drools. It's great. I've never been good dealing with the stone roses. Is that a boss I see in the background? Maybe. Ugh, hang on. I gotta I gotta remember how to do No. I'm trying to remember how to do the um Hellfire. Hang on. Hang on one second. <laughs> I gotta I gotta check and see if I remember it right. What is the input for it? I normally have it memorized, but I think I have it remembered with a different one. I think I, I always get it. 
um mixed up with uh what is it um the uh hellfire from uh or not hellfire uh dark metamorphosis is one i always get it mixed up with let's see here ah yeah okay i had it right i just wasn't getting it right or putting it in right i guess let's try this again so it should be yeah there we go and then you can hold up and it sends out those so the reason why i'm gonna do this is because i can do this well first off let's not get hit boom This is important. We must sit here for 30 seconds. Very important I do this. There we go. All right, so now we just got way better armor and a way better weapon. Have you called Nintendo Help Center? Have you got the Red Ruby store? No, I did not call Nintendo Help Center. Very important stuff. Actually, I need to pick up a few hearts here. So just realized I'm short. Also, very important, sit down. Guys, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta take a seat and, you know, de-stress from all the, uh, all the problems of the world, and then get back up and deal with them again. All right, time to beat this boss in about three seconds. Here we go. You guys ready? Here it goes. Telling you, it's gonna be three seconds. Alright. Did it! <laughs> there we go! I did it! <laughs> <laughs> right. Nothing like a clock and some brass knuckles to make everything work out in the end. What an epic introduction for such a disappointment. I know. Can you do it again? I did not see it. <laughs> there was a boss. Sorry, I looked away. Some say it was a boss. Ah, oh, dang it, whatever. Sweep the castle here. Hang on. Hang on. 
there we go, that one. That last clip that I just did there, where he swings his fist. Kinda sounds like he's saying, bruh. <laughs> I'm just trying to climb the tower here real quick. And uh, there's a save point at the top I want to get. There we go. No, not there yet. I need to turn the elevator on. <laughs> We're not going there yet. <laughs> I just wanted to get it there real quick. Just that way I'd remember to go there later. very important lore details that in 1800 something Transylvania these mythical creatures are using dollars <laughs> it's 1792 must sit Look, it's the boatman. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Climbing up the tower right now. Gonna do some other stuff real quick before I proceed on with the game. Like finding side stuff and all that. Uh, actually, you know what? We can take the elevator. You're a boatman. Wow. Wow, okay. Wow. Like, I'm right here. Wow. How could you just say that? Also, hang on. I gotta... I know it's a bit of a criminal thing to do, but I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit more for me. Ugh. It is a bit loud in my ears. <laughs> Alright, our first warp room. Okay, so that should be everything up here. Ow. Next area with more fantastic music. Miss deafen yourself for our enjoyment. You know what's sort of next time I get bored? I'm gonna become a boatman. <laughs> Ow. Also, this song is so good. 
Oh my gosh, getting bodied. If there is one enemy that I do despise in this game, it is the flea men. The flea men in this game are absolutely atrocious. Becoming a boatman is more productive than drinking. One is a business venture, the other can be a harmful activity if not done in moderation. This is your this is your daily PSA with C B. Guys, just remember, if you're drinking, that means you're inhibiting your ability to search for the stone. Now give me the stone! That's just silly. I'm confused. How's drinking a business venture? It's not. That's the problem. Die, book. You don't belong in this world. Ow. No, not shoe nice. It's been a long time, old one. Oh, it's you, Master Alucard. What do you need? I need your help. Young master, I cannot aid one who opposes the master. You won't go unrewarded. Really? In that case, just tell me what you need. <laughs> So loyal. I'm interested in this. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think there's any like you don't you really don't need to buy anything else from him. Well for now. That's that's all you need the librarian for. Continue ripping through all this. I love how they use um, 3D and 2D together, like sprites and 3D models. Because, like, the books are 3D models, obviously, but they actually. They look natural with the game, due to its art style. Uh, 
I don't really care about getting cursed. What's a few hits? Uh, let's see here. Okay, so... Yeah, we're gonna go down and, um... Hit the save point. And then move back left. Does the librarian pay the monsters in dollars? How did he become so wealthy must <laughs> but be in the service of Dracula? Will this be in Season 4? Probably not. Of course he's not going to be in Season 4. You know what's really annoying too, right? Okay, here's something that really bothers me about the show. Even in the first two seasons. They really can't help but like constantly reference Symphony of the Night all the time. Listen, I get it. Symphony of the Night is like the most popular one in the series. And for good reason. But stop referencing it all the way back in Castlevania 3! Quit shoving so many references and like actual plot threads and stuff in it that are in Castlevania 3, or that aren't in Castlevania 3. Because then you're just going to retread going over them. And here's the thing, right? Is that the argument I heard before this, uh, next point I'm going to bring up, is that, well, they haven't announced that they're going to do Symphony of the Night yet. We don't even know if they'll ever read Symphony of the Night. They officially announced that they're going to do Symphony of the Night at some point. Like, that, that is in the plan. And I'm thinking to myself, but... <laughs> so why cram all the Symphony of the Night references in there if you're gonna already do it? It's so annoying. Like, I don't mind some references here and there. But, like, if you ask me, Alucard shouldn't have the Chrysogram yet. That should be something he gets in Symphony of the Night. And, like, the wolf form and all that sort of stuff, why have that now? We're not gonna go down just yet. We're not gonna go downstairs just yet. There's another area I wanna go to first. how unpredictable that enemy is. That's the only reason why I dislike them. It's because you can't predict what they're gonna do. So it comes off as kind of feeling more unfair. I'm gonna guess that the seasons don't follow the games in release order. Um, no, they have been so far. Um, well, outside of, uh, Lament of Innocence. Lament of Innocence got completely skipped over, but it does get referenced in uh, Castlevania Season 2. Because um, uh, they, they have, like, the picture of Lacard on there. Um, or in there, and, like, Trevor says, oh, you know, he was, like, the first Belmont, quote-unquote, to, like, be here and fight Dracula and all that. Um, but as for Castlevania 3, uh, they're supposed to be, see, okay, so the problem is, is that they did Castlevania 3, but they also did Curse of Darkness at the same time, whereas 
Curse of Darkness takes place after Castlevania 3. So now they're trying to like blend Curse of Darkness in to Castlevania 3 more a little bit. And it's like, that's what season three is supposed to be, but it's also not at all. It's a mess. Oh, that's right. He doesn't get affected by the world. I don't know, the show's a mess. <laughs> yeah, they really did mess up. Also, I love these guys, they're so cute. Listen to them! They're so cute! <laughs> I want one. I want a plush. Do I have to kneel in the corner for 30 seconds to get a good show? Are these bosses? Uh, are, oh, are there bosses you can't just have on? Yeah, there's some that you can't, but most of them we will be, yes. Actually, yeah, we're gonna take holy water now. Because holy water is also going to melt a lot of bosses in this game. And hey look, we've looped all the way back. Just like another series about shortcuts. Yes. <laughs> it's a mistranslation, by the way. There's another enemy that is uh, supposed to have that name, and like that. But basically, both their both their names got twisted around by. I think it was a mistranslation. So, yeah. And we never went to the left over here, and now we're gonna go over to the left over here, because it is relevant to go to do so. Fake floor, I think, down here. No? Okay. No, I checked over here. I did go over to the left, but it's not like this left. Not this left. Well actually we are gonna save it this left, but there's another left <laughs> that we didn't go down that I'm trying to get to. And we'll be going to the cellar in, in well, the, the caves in just a moment. But I have to go to the church first. Well, I don't have to, but I'm gonna, because that's the order I like to do things in. Well, let's see if I can't get that holy water back in time. Nope, it's gone. All right. Shame. Hi, Maria. So, we meet again, Alucard. It seems so. As friendly as ever, I see. It's strange. This castle is different than I remember it. Here we go. This castle is a creature of chaos. It may take many incarnations. 
<laughs> so I can't trust my memories, huh? Oh well, I'll do my best. Good luck. This castle is a creature of chaos. It may take many incarnations. Oh boy, don't get started, you guys. Don't you get started on that. <laughs> DG isn't even in this chat. Look at him go! <laughs> I love it. By the way, absolutely, once again, I have to point out the absolutely gorgeous... Okay, awesome. I got that drop. I wasn't expecting that. The absolutely gorgeous music! It's so good! Ow. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Besides, you can't even do it. I can't remember which direction the save is. If it's to the left? No, it's not. That just leads back to here. Good to know. Well, good to remember. I'm just going here because it gets rid of that guy being aggroed. Also important. She's going to do that. <laughs> nope. Don't want her. Here we go. And this is the only time where sitting in a chair does anything in this game. That's it. That's literally it. That's the only room. <laughs> That's the only room in the game where that happens. I love that. It's just a nice little Easter egg. I might need to uh, run away here in a minute. Find a save point. Ah, oh, boy. We're getting bodied. Let me see here. I think I have another healing item, don't I, though? I do. Why not?
It's always the crows. Crows are always the worst enemies in these games. Let's just start drinking a bunch of water. Yeah, you probably should. The reason why I wanted to come up here, though, is because of the silver plates up here. And I believe... It is, yes, better than the mirror. Ugh. These guys are such a pain. Great, I'm out of hearts. Got him. Uh, let me see here. Ugh, I just barely can't make it up there. I need my double jump. You know what? Nope. <laughs> That's all we're going to do for the church right now. Didn't I get a library card? No, I didn't. Crap. All right. Well, this is going to be tough. Time to play in ultra caution mode here. Get her forward like that. <laughs> Makes me anxious. Oh, of course, there has to be one more. No! Don't duck! You stupid idiot. No! <sighs> All right. Ow. There's about to be issues. There's about to be some serious issues here, guys. <laughs> Wait. Actually, hang on. Maybe not. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Don't worry. Ah, oh, come on, man. Alright, nice.
There we go. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I did it. Ooh. Early game is not easy for this game. It, it's not like super easy. It can it can get pretty rough sometimes. Whew. Okay. What matters is that I did it. Uh, let me see here. All right, I need to loop back to the spot where it was in the underground area in just a minute. I need to go through. All right, let's see. Let's do a little slide on over here. Nope, that one. That one. I just love the boop and they die. I also forgot to come down here. I don't think the sunglasses are better than the ballroom mask. No, they aren't. Okay. All right, now we have one of the other really good items to have early game. Anyone know why? Because this. <laughs> That's why. Give Alucard his aviators though. <laughs> Look at how fast he can swing this thing. It's almost as fast as you can press a button. Look at that. Three hits. Even though it only takes one with this, this has a bit of a wind-up. See, whereas this, I can just boom. This, this weapon right here really can melt some bosses. Aviators are better, but they should require a license. Isn't it beautiful? Just came through here, like, only a little bit ago, and, uh... Everything was kind of pushing us around, and now we're pushing everything else around. Just bullying everything in the castle. Let me see here. I believe... No, down is not our destination. Over here, anyway. Down is our destination, ultimately, but it's across the way.
All right. Uh, yeah, I'd rather have the clock over the axe. But I'd rather have holy water overall. All right. It's time for some lo-fi beats <laughs> to relax slash study to here in Dracula's castle. Bandana gives me one more intelligence and same defense. Why not? It's absolutely not the music that you would expect, but for some reason, it works. save point. I don't know how much longer I'm going to stream. I, I'm I'm really feeling a long stream in me today, though. By the way, I love this. It's like, oh, they're all stabbing and stuff, but if you just do this... Look at him! License man bad. Okay, um... I think I want to go left. Only problem with the Basilard and uh, the Jewel Knuckles is that you cannot... Uh punch or stab diagonally unless you are in the air. Ow. Also, frogs are like one of the most annoying enemies in this game. Trust me, they're even more annoying in Rondo of Blood. Because they work exactly the same. The Japanese Mushroom and Castlevania. Shush, it's fine. Okay, that's gonna be it for this direction. Ow. Ow. Get out of the... Jump across! Thank you. Can't even. Oh my gosh, these frogs, man. Frog man bad. <laughs> so I'll just take a screen cap and put a peepo over the frog, like a smug peepo. Um. That's not supposed to happen. Um... 
What? Why is that glitching? I'm not supposed to have this unlocked for like way later. That's like end game. Well, not end game, but that's that's close to end game territory. Closer to end game territory. Why did that happen? The sequence break. I don't know, man. I think that might have just been a glitch. Maybe in part to how I am playing the game currently on my totally legitimate 100% of PlayStation 1. Perhaps. But I feel like that'd be a really weird glitch to have because of it. I don't want to risk, like, going down there either, because I don't want to risk getting stuck. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, dang it, there's a there's a way to do this, by the way, without having to deal with all this mess, but I couldn't get it. There we go. That's what I was looking for. There we go, cool, I did it. Alright, we're going to be keeping this cloak for most of the game, because it's actually a really good cloak. And it has a really cool effect. It says... Enchanted Semi-Invisible Cape. And it actually is semi-invisible. It's really neat. get the morph ball. <laughs> That's a different game. get the Riverman's, uh, thing. I don't remember now. Ow. Well, actually, I should save. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Have I been up here yet? Yes, I have. Okay. Ugh. Oh, I'm out of <laughs> holy water stuff. I forgot it takes three. Mm -hmm. 
I know the next section I need to go to now. I have to go down the waterfall. I'm not going down there because I don't want to get stuck. Yeah, th this guy is not supposed to be here at all. Not yet, anyway. Ugh, these frogs! It doesn't help that in this game you get, like, no invincibility frames at all. So everything just keeps pushing you around. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can't do this real quick. Nope, okay, I can't. Also... There's always something behind the waterfall. Wait, is that thing constantly breaking while I'm down here? What? Yeah, it constantly breaks when I'm down here. Why? Why is that a thing? Okay, we're gonna unlock a shortcut here real quick. And here we are, back at the beginning. This is how you're meant to get out of the caves, because obviously you cannot go back up the waterfall. So you have to loop back around. I'll take you to a place which might be interesting for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The river man. Now I'm thinking, was this a Cape, a glitch, and the devs said, screw it, we will call it semi-invisible. Maybe. Who knows? That would be kind of funny if that was the case. I doubt it is, though. Ah, come on, jump. Thank you. Oh, man. The zombie rooms are not my favorite, I will say. Just because they you can't really see them popping up out of the ground. And they infinitely respawn, so... I made a people approach in the caves. I'll have to see this in between games.
Yeah, okay, we're on the right track. See, I have this shortcut now, so we don't have to loop all the way back around everywhere. I think I can get up this way, right? Yeah, I can. No? Yeah, I should be able to, I think. Ow. Yeah, this guy's no pushover, by the way. <laughs> That's why the clock is useful for him. I know, that, that's what I'm saying, it's a mistranslation if I remember right. There's another, there's another monster in this game that does look like him that I believe is supposed to have that other monster's name. And they, they got him swapped around by accident. Ah, no, I don't want that. The diamond is like the worst, well, okay, no. Second worst item in the game. It's really bad. There's like three sub weapons in this game that just aren't good. Now we get to loop all the way back through the caves again. And there's a reason for it. First off, there's some rooms that I never went into, such as the save room here. save again just because I can I'm obsessive about saving in this game if you couldn't tell are you supposed to swap CDs when there is <laughs> the CD room no Because we got that mermaid statue, he is now here. So we had to loop and get that statue and then loop all the way back just to get this guy to show up at his job. And I fell off. Uh, come on, let me back on the boat, dude! <laughs> These bats! Eh. There we go.
The holy symbol. I love this. All right, this is one of my favorites, right? Protection while going underwater. It's the holy symbol. It's just a snorkel. <laughs> it's just a snorkel. That's all it is. But yes, now I can walk in water. <laughs> Will he be outside? I'm better at your job than you are now, fairy man. So now, there's some more underwater stuff to explore before, uh, moving on to the next zone. Which is gonna be at the top of the, uh, I think I need to head back to the top of the church if I remember right. I can't do anything else in the long library. Can't do anything else anywhere. See, this is a part of the game where I'm always, like, the most fuzzy. I can never remember, like, where I need to go next at this point. Ow. Problem is... Knockback gets, um, amplified underwater, which is pretty annoying. Nunchuck- Go. Are you booping fish? Yes, I am booping fish. Ow. And fish are booping me at the moment. Ow. Let me throw this holy water underwater. There we go. Punch the fish. Ow. Ow. There we go. <laughs> I wanted my resist ice potion. Even though I'm never gonna use it. Like, pretty much all the items outside of healing items in this game, I never use. Uh, I don't think that... Yeah, that just leads back up. You can see it now, Ripstorf is stunlocked to death by stationary enemies. You know, that's not too far from the truth, most of the time. I hate the fact that frogs even do damage to you. It's like, come on, dude, you're you're the son of Dracula. A frog is gonna kill you. Ooh. 
Ow. All right. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so... All right, I need to fight, um... Bird. I need to fight the bird monster. When's my birthday, just out of curiosity? My birthday is in 32 days. October 28th. I cannot wait until we get the wolf power up to uh, just run through these guys. Oh, good lord. The zombies are so annoying. <laughs> They're one of the most annoying enemies. Just because they pop up out of the ground out of nowhere. And they knock you back. Frogs are more powerful than vampires, don't you know? They let Dracula stay in the castle and amuses them. Alright, I'm gonna save. Always do a save. Even if you're not low on health, do it. When you get to a new area, do it, because... When you die, that, uh, that's something I haven't mentioned. When you die, you go back to the last time you saved. So if you haven't saved in like an hour, well, guess what, bucko? <laughs> You've just lost an hour's worth of progress. Now do it again. Uh, let me see here. There is a spot to drop over on the right. I don't know if I can get that just yet um i'm gonna check it out i'm gonna check it out over the cathedral and then i'll go to the cathedral if this turns out to be nothing which it probably will be but you never die though i mean yeah once you get to a certain point in this game you won't die that that's just inevitable you will not die at a certain point And actually, I'm getting fairly close to that point. I love these ghosts. I love them. They're so good. Listen to them. It's so, they're, they're just not... They're not threatening at all. They're just cute. They're trying. They're trying their hardest. I would love to see a terminal montage animation in this game, by the way. Or it's just Dracula. Or not Dracula, but Alucard. Um, like, backdashing through the castle while, like, freaking everything out. Symphony of the Night Ghost Emote win. Dude, I'd love it. I'd add it to, like, better TTV or Franker face. Ugh, the flea men. The flea men. So annoying. Come <laughs> on. 
there's another meeting uh, that we have to do with Maria in the story. We'll be meeting up with her in just a bit. Oh, come on. Uh, let me see here. It's over here. No! It's down here. I'm just stupid. Ah! There we go. It's this one. Yeah, I need to get the pill and the library card. Alright, that's literally it. I looped all this way around just for that. Cool. I'm actually gonna take a shortcut. It'll actually be it'll be shorter just to go to the teleporter over there and loop back around that way. I'll take it. Can I, like, do that again with this one, please? I guess not. Alright. Alucard needs his library card. Yes, he does. He can't... He's not allowed to rent anything without it. Listen. Just because he's the son of Dracula doesn't make him exempt from the ancient contract of the library, all right? If you're gonna rent crap, I'ma have your name. I'm gonna need your ID, sir. Those statues are so sus. I think I saw one bent. offer you a reward if you let him borrow without it, though. This is not... This is not something that can just be circumvented with money. CB. Also, I just noticed they have little wieners. Anyway... And now we're back. Just gets whacked in the face. Bop! Gets hit with the equivalent of a dump truck to the face. But it's Alucard's fist. There is tasteful nudity if there is such a concept on Twitch. Um, basically, if the game has a category on Twitch, then it is allowed. You just need to make sure that your channel, uh, follows under the right, like, um, what is it? Setting. The right term. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, to play it. That's why I leave my streams 18 plus all the time, because... I never know necessarily exactly what to expect in every single game I play, because 
I don't know if there's gonna be uh, nudity or whatever in any of them, so I just have to take that chance. And it also keeps commentary and chat a bit more free in what we're allowed to say and do and all that sort of stuff. Ah, yes, this room, okay. I need to go back down. Sad thing though is that uh, I have 18 plus set and eight, I believe having it set to 18 plus limits my, I guess, outreach on Twitch. I think that they limit like how much your channel will get noticed. So it makes it really difficult for me to get my channel out there. I've thought about taking the 18 plus off. But the problem is, right, is that even looking at the terms of service, I still can't under, I, I don't get, like, okay, so where do you draw the line? Why is this okay, but this isn't? Like, okay, if I were to play a game like Nekopara, for example, because it just popped up in chat, then yes, obviously 18 plus, do it. But, like, playing Symphony of the Night, or like Doom Eternal or something like that. I've seen streams that weren't marked as 18 plus for like Doom Eternal. And it's like, well, that game has like excessive violence and gore in it. And that is not an 18 plus game. There's literally levels with, you know, intestines as the ground. And that's not an 18 plus game? Like, what's the, what's the distinction? <laughs> Where is it drawn? Okay, so I can say the F word, but also I can't? If I say the F word, it has to be 18 plus, but also it doesn't? Like, what? what is it? What's the difference? Why does it have to be an option anyway? Why not just have it be what it is? Why do I have to mark my stream as 18 plus? Twitch, if you can get away with it, you're fine. Oh my gosh! This crow! This is the worst crow. I hate this crow. I hate this crow. Get out of here. I don't know. I, I've thought about, I, I might contact Twitch and ask them, hey, can you like give me an idea? Can I talk to someone and give me, like who can give me an idea of like, do I need to remain 18 plus or can I take it off? Because if I could take it off, I'd love to. I'd love to take 18 plus off this channel. Also next boss. <laughs> You guys ready for this? He's super threatening. He's super threatening. Watch. Here we go. Watch. Watch how threatening he is. I did it. Probably get away with removing the 18 plus. You self censor enough Impressive. to my ears. Just bar me You're from the chat. Strong. No Catholic school boy would be. Tr what is it you want? You didn't come here to tell me that. They can't You're give right. me an idea. They want to Do keep things gray. Do you know the name Richter Belmont? Yeah. Of the Belmont clan, of course. Look, it's but... Trevor. <laughs> then yes, he Trevor. He disappeared about a year ago, it. and I'm sure he's here. If you see him, please let me know. As you wish, my lady. Thank you. So, you do know how to be a gentleman. Okay, but I have a question. This room... 
it goes to like this hallway, but where'd you go? How do you get away so fast? How do you get past the skeleton? Also, she's 15. Why does she sound like she's 30? Why did they hire someone to, that's like in their 30s to voice her? Alucard is a shrimp. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I think that, like, it also draws Twitch's attention more to your channel, possibly, which I guess could be a good and bad thing. Listen, like, I'm just concerned. I don't, like, if they take issue with me not making it 18 plus, like, taking the 18 plus rating off, and, you know, they, they think that I'm not friendly enough to uh, leave it on, then fine i'm just concerned that like twitch's way of telling me this is going to be like a permanent ban and it's like no that's not i just i don't know you don't have it detailed for me and i'd really rather not risk a permanent ban in some cases but at the same time i'm i don't think that i would get in trouble Just contact, like, that's a problem. That's a problem so many streamers have with Twitch, too. Is that, you don't contact us. <laughs> you don't contact us and tell us what the problem is. You ban us and then leave it. So, of course, I'm going to be a little concerned about, like, what I do with my channel. I don't want my channel banned. Shouldn't hurt to ask to set down a list of rules. Yeah, just give me like a a list of what don't I what not to say. Tell me what not to say, and I will not do it. I really I do like Twitch. I do like Twitch. There are things about Twitch that I don't like. But I do like Twitch. I just wish that I could like Twitch more by knowing what it is I'm not allowed to do. I have an idea of like the obvious stuff of obviously like don't dox people, don't call for violence against people, um, don't use slurs, don't do any of that sort of stuff. Like, yeah, I get that. Fine, I can understand that. But then there's other stuff that's, like, left unsaid. Also, double jump. That's, like, left unsaid that I'm like, okay, well, is it, like, this way or what? Bet that list is ever-expanding and will include, uh, ginger shrimp for a while. <laughs> Might. I don't know. But either way, the point is, is it's, like, I just need to know. See, all right, Garv, with what you just said, right? I'm not going to give my stance on it, but you can probably guess what my stance on it is, especially since you know me. But even saying that, I don't want to say that. Because it's risky to say that. To me, anyway. With how things are, it's risky to say that. I'm not even gonna give my position on it, and even still. But that's why I brought the no- That's also part of the reason why I brought the no politics rule into the, um, chat. Because we're all here just to hang out, have fun, and play games and escape all that stuff. But also because, you know, In my experience, it definitely <laughs> seems like Twitch is, uh, has had biased cases <clears throat> in the past. 
so I don't want to risk that. And you know, it, it doesn't ever get resolved. You're just gone. I mean, heck, even this whole rant I've been on about it is probably putting me at risk. But, I mean, <laughs> that's just how it is. I wish I didn't have to skirt around it, Tum Chi, but I do. I want the I want the site to improve. And you can't improve your site if you don't let people speak their minds about what like their issues. Even if you think that it's not an issue that needs to be addressed. Fine. But at least listen. You know. Don't just shut down people that you know, disagree with everything. Listen, I don't agree entirely with, um, with Twitch's terms of service, like, the stuff and all that sort of thing, right? I won't say what about, but I'll just say that I don't entirely agree with it. Point is, it is their platform. They are allowed to, like, make the rules, and I will follow those rules if I'm going to use their platform. Fine. That's fair. But, I'm also allowed to critique those rules, and disagree with those rules. And, just because you're allowed to make the rules doesn't mean that you should just shut out, like, all criticism. Or, you know, differing opinions about said rules. I don't think the risk is that high with eight viewers. You'd be surprised, Garv. You would be surprised. Um, regardless, the thing is, is that I don't want the, I, I just want to be able to like speak my mind of, hey, Twitch, maybe try improving in this area. Maybe try looking at, uh, you know, this instead of, you know, such and such. Maybe you should pay attention to that instead, you know. But instead, if I try and do that sort of thing, <laughs> I risk getting my channel banned, and I don't want that. Or even something as, as simple as, well, I think this about this. Can... I don't know. It's all a mess. It's all a mess. Sometimes. I... Majority of the time, I'm I enjoy streaming. I mean, pretty much all the time I enjoy streaming. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> but, um... It's just... It's frustrating. It is frustrating dealing with some of the stuff that happens on this platform. I'm happy that I have the platform, you know, to even do any of this. I just wish that it didn't feel so restricted. That's the word for it, I guess. Is it it's like it I feel restricted in what I can say and do. And obviously there are some restrictions that you should have. Um or that you just need to accept. Like if you're a business, fine. I get it. I get why some restrictions are in place. But, um, it's just, I don't know. It's pretty much it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It's just frustrating. That's all. I'm thinking I might do a few streams. As a good friend of mine says, it's all so tiresome. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna do a few streams, though, uh, I think, and just see how things go of non-18+. plus. And, um... Like, if I have a bunch of friends on and we're playing Pummel Party and stuff, then sure, I'll turn 18 plus back on for that broadcast. You can always just swap it on and off anyway. It's not like it takes much effort. Um, it's just, uh, that, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. I'll just try applying it for, like, when I think it is needed. Uh, yes. 
how do I get back down? There we go. Like, for example, uh, by the way, when it comes to streams getting discovered, Misha, uh, Misha Buki, I know that he's like a mod and stuff on some discords that we're all in, and a lot of people do know him, but, um, even with that, like, his streams, he's done three streams, he gets upwards of like 20 viewers and stuff at a time. And I'm wondering, because he doesn't have his set to 18+, plus. I'm wondering if that has something to do with it. It's been on my mind for a really long time, actually, even before he started streaming. But since he started streaming, and especially with, like, I especially got, like, that's very odd to me. That, that seems, like, really weird that he would... Because I've been 18 plus from the start. Like, ever since I started my Twitch channel, I've had it set to 18 plus. Um. And I'm curious if, like, that has had something to do with it or not. But I mean, I don't swear. Not anymore. Um. And really, that's about the worst thing I can think of that I would do. The only other thing I can think of is just, like, kind of applying it game by game as well. So, like, if I were to play Doom Eternal, which I already did, um, then, uh, yeah, I set that to 18 plus. But, like, if I'm playing this, then no, it doesn't need to be. Or, like, Graveyard Keeper doesn't need to be 18 plus. So, could it be the anime girl profile? Oldest trick in the book is out of it. It's adding a hot girl on the cover. The profile as well. It could be. Who knows? Okay. Long Library is where we're heading next. I might actually not do Graveyard Keeper today. Um, we're going on four hours here, I just realized. And uh, I gotta eat dinner soon. Something, something sex sucks. It really does. But no, I don't think that's it. Downstairs and then right. Oh! 
Ooh, it's getting nice and cloudy outside today. I'm happy about that. It's been real bright in this room all morning, or all afternoon. Well, and all morning. I love it when it's cloudy. Hang on one second. I gotta check and see if I have something. Ooh. Okay, I missed a message there. <laughs> I just saw CB's. I'm going to have to show that in a minute. CB, that is absolutely beautiful, though. Thank you. Thank you for that. The temperature? Temperature has been great. It's finally starting to cool off. By the way, cool little detail. Notice that on the double jump, Alucard's uh, cape turns into bat wings. I love it. Figuring out why one streamer is doing better than another is an algorithm Algorithm with a thousand factories trying to figure it out. True. I'm just curious, like, if it has to do with the algorithm or, if, like, well, I mean, obviously it does have to do with the algorithm. I'm just wondering if it's just completely random on the algorithms part of, okay, well, he just happens to get more viewers, or um, if it has to do with, like, he gets more viewers because he's not 18 plus. I can't, I, I don't know. That's why I want to test it. Test it for like a week, maybe two, see how it goes. And, uh, if numbers are better, like, in terms of viewer count and stuff, then I'm just gonna probably assume that it was due to the 18+. plus. If not, then I'll just assume it's probably just due to the al algorithm. Wrong way. Yeah, I needed to just go to the middle one. Not the algorithm per se, perhaps a poor choice of wording, more a function with a lot of differing overlapping variables. Yeah, that's probably a better way to put it. I don't know, I don't know. Well, see, the thing that gets me, too, is that, like, if you watch Vine Sauce uh, Vinny, and I think even Joel, too, neither of them, at least I know for sure Vinny, is an 18+. Plus. And Vinny says some pretty, you know, rough, he uses some pretty rough language sometimes, a lot of the time. He can get pretty, uh, pretty rough. Um, and I think Pay Money Wubby as well is not an 18 plus streamer, and he's definitely much more raunchy than like Vinny. So I'm wondering if like I'm wondering if it's just pointless for me to have it on. I feel like it is. What does it take to get monetized on Twitch? Uh, you have to reach affiliate, so 50 followers, 3 consistent viewers after 50 followers, and stream at least 7 different days a week. Or, stream at least 7 different days total. Uh, I think it ex I think it spans across 3 weeks before they take away your 7 days. Once you get affiliate though, you cannot lose it, so that's nice. So even with my really long break, I never lost affiliate, I didn't have to get it back or anything. Even if I dropped below 50 followers, I would keep affiliate. So that's nice of them to let you do that. Hey guys, how do we make flea men worse? Put him in armor!
if they already have a big audience so they can get away with it, stream seven days a week, yep. No, not seven days a week, seven days, like, seven separate days a week. So, like, also JoJo reference. Um, so, like, uh, you could stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then you could stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then you could stream Monday, and then that'd be your seven days. They want seven consistent days, though, basically. Uh, actually, wait, is this better or worse? Better intelligence, better defense. Okay, cool. Or same defense. Alright, so we just got another fantastic weapon here that is going to replace the Jewel Knuckle. The Holy Rod. And I got something else. So, yeah, the Topaz Circlet, which is good for intelligence and all that. Oh, like, seven days on the schedule, yeah. So, here's the thing about the Holy Rod. Notice how I can do, like, that bigger hit? The thing about the Holy Rod that makes it so good is the fact that most enemies, funnily enough, in Dracula's Castle, are weak to Holy. Which is the elemental that uh, the Holy Rod exhibits. So... Yeah, Holy Rod is one of the better weapons in the game. Reject your humanity, start become a kitty streamer. <laughs> no. Including this guy, he's weak to Holy Rod. Or to, to Holy Rod. You know what? Just... There we go, got him. Bum 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 ba ba da ba 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 ba. Hey guys, today it's Storfus here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get popular on Twitch by reviewing kids' toys. I don't hate my life. I make a million dollars doing this. <laughs> hey guys, it's your boy Storfus here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Um, let me see here. I need my, uh... Did I get missed? Did I grab missed and not notice? Hang on. No, I didn't. Where's missed? I guess I missed it. <laughs> wow, no one is going to get that reference. That laugh was a reference and no one is going to get it. That's literally just for me. We must recover all of the soul of Miss Mega Man. If we find the soul of Mist, we'll find Dr. Wild. Uh, why don't I have missed? Mist is supposed to. I'm supposed to. Wait a minute. Hang on. No. Hang on. Wait. Hang on. When you beat, I thought you got missed when you beat that guy. Hang on. I have to check and make sure that I'm not getting another glitch here. Oh, wait, I am stupid. I wasn't supposed to be here yet. I was supposed to go to the Coliseum first. 
Uh, where is the Colosseum, as a matter of fact? I'm trying to remember where it is. Okay. Well, you know what? Hang on. Ugh. Okay. All I can think of is imagining being weak to garlic, steaks, running water, holy water, sunlight, wolfsbane, and crosses at the same time. Go be a better unholy creature, Alucard. Okay, let's see here. The Colosseum should be... It's in the center there. Like that big, like, house-looking area. You guys can see in the center, the very center of the map. That's where the Colosseum is. I need to get there. And I don't remember how. Oh, wait. No, that's not it. Because that's the clock area. No, the, the Colosseum is... Where? Where? It's over to the left. Hang on, I gotta... I gotta see where this is. Is it pick an end on the map and go down at time? Uh, it might be. thinking of I, I can't remember where it is I'm trying to place where it is because I, I I think I know and yet I cannot remember No, 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 no. I was right. I, it is in the center. The problem is, is where it is in the center. And that is, it is... Okay, so that's what we're going to try and do as the last thing on the stream before I call it. It's in the center. I need to go up in the clock room. It's, it's, um, to the upper left. The upper left of the clock room. I, was, I kept thinking of... I know that's also, like, Ulrox's... Orox or Onox? I don't remember what its name is. I think it's Orox. Um, no, it's Onox. Whatever, one of the two. Nox's quarters. Uh, up in the upper left. I, I was right. He is up there, but, um, we also have to get to the Coliseum through there. And Mist is in Coliseum. And then I can use Mist in the Long Library. Teleporter is going to come in handy here. I love just the poke and they're dead. Bone musket. <laughs> now 
Yeah, I'm stupid. Okay. This gets us a bit closer. Okay. Uh, actually, no, it'd be shorter. Hang on. Yeah, it would be shorter to go the shortcut way. You know, the shortcut, maybe? <laughs> Short being the keyword there? Man, I can't believe I've almost been streaming for five hours. It's been a while since I've had to stream this long. This guy's weak to holy. It never ceases to amuse me, I'm sorry, but it never ceases to amuse me. I love them. They're mine now. See, so this is a really annoying part about this game, in that um, you have to wait for a specific time on the clock for this thing to uh, go. And sadly, it kind of doesn't. See, it was open earlier, but now it's not. Huh. <laughs> there we go. Ugh. Does it read off the internal clock in the console? No, it doesn't, but... Uh... I do believe it goes at a real time seconds. I don't remember for sure though. All rocks. I was right the first time. All rocks is quarters. I love this song, by the way. Dance of Pales, I believe, is this one. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Oh my gosh, did I just pick up what I think I did? Cheese.
Um, we're not gonna go fight all rocks yet, namely because I don't think we can just yet. But we will be fighting him at some point. And now we have wandering ghosts. We're in the Coliseum, boys. There's a lot of places we can go here. But I believe the first place we want to go is the bottom right. Yes. Alright. Question. <laughs> Praise the cheese. Never disrespect the cheese. Question, chat. Do you guys want me to finish up the Coliseum real quick? It shouldn't take us too long to get through here. I could do the Coliseum and then call it a stream. Does that sound good to everyone or just call it here? <sighs> this one's worn me out, boy. <laughs> this stream has worn me out. I gotta rebuild my stamina. Could call it here. Look at those frames of animation, dude. Hmm. See, that's the problem. I want to play more, but also I'm really, <laughs> I'm really tired out. I don't know. Eh, let's explore a little, see how it is. Maybe not finish up the Coliseum, but at least explore a good chunk of it. How about that? Ow. Oh, hey, it's my least favorite enemy. Not really, but still one of them. And now we have another save point. <laughs> I love the cheese. I, I, you know what? If there was a, a global Twitch emote that I, I like as well, I do like the stinky cheese emote a lot. <laughs> I love its face. It's so good. Just the three mouth and the stinky cheese. Also, we have another thing. It just shoots. That's it. It's lame. Was that a two-legged horse? Yes, it was. This is to the boss. I didn't mean to do that. Well, whatever. <laughs> You're also invulnerable during Hellfire, so that's nice. Very good for getting around things. Here we have the weapon room. 
You can get almost every single sub weapon in the game in here. Also, cool little bit of continuity here. Richter killed this monster in the last game. I believe in the Colosseum, too. I really like that touch. The Blood Cloak. Replacing the Crystal Cloak, I believe. Well, it's one less defense, but every single time you get hit, you get a heart. So, I like that trade-off. And also, it just looks more styling. Listen, I like red more than... Well, red's my favorite color, so I'm also biased in that regard. Ha! <laughs> I guess you could say I am well red! Maybe that's why my channel doesn't grow. <laughs> Maybe that's why no one watches. Good touch. Good touch. Ow. See, I just got a heart. I got another heart. Holy crap, stuff your puns are bad, I know. Alucard looks like his dad more now, which is a nice touch. Yeah. Ow. So red is better than transparent. I'm gonna fill up on some health here real quick before exploring the rest. Ow! Come on. Do your do your wibbly woo. There we go. Better dead than red. I'm not going to save at the moment. Just heal up. Ow! Ow! Also, hey, I didn't mention, but the Colosseum is home to some of the worst rooms in the game. Thankfully, I have Hellfire. Dang it! Uh. Ow. Just, 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 well, that's a death. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not! <laughs> Woo! Skirting it just a bit. The Colosseum's really dangerous, but these rooms, like, it, the only reason why it's dangerous is because these rooms suck. Oh, come on, stop it! Stop it! There we go. Whew. Oh my gosh. I forgot there was another group of them. Oh my gosh, stop it. Oh, you stop. You stop that. Good lord, this room. I forgot how bad it is. Good one, a powerful half vampire or shooty bone boy with a loading boundary. Yeah, no kidding.
There we go. That solves our number one issue. Don't you dare knock me out of the room right now, you piece of crap. And here we have another great rod. Wow, that... Don't take that out of context. Um, but yeah, the shield rod. That's another good item. Uh, it has a unique effect with every single shield in the game. Where it will do a unique spell for every single one of them. Also, look, he said, he said his little owl friend is dead. Too bad he's dead now, too. The owl also does the same thing for the guy, by the way. It's a nice touch. Also, that's some- that's some Gravekeeper! Ow! Alright, Raiden. Ow. There we go. You can't take good OC screen caps if it's not typed out. Or out of context, okay. I wanna show what happens if he dies first. Oh, they both died. Oh, well. Alright. Ow! Sir? 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 Just do the... Thank you. Okay, this is not good. <laughs> well, it worked out. Okay. You just enjoying his soak in the fountain, then this half vampire jumps in and spooks him. Alright. That's gonna be it for the stream today. Uh I really have to use the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm gonna make this ending fairly quick. Um, let me get the the thing here. The music. <laughs>